if you're just getting into dictation or if you're looking for a free way to dive in and see if dictation will help you increase your word count, here's a quick tutorial on how to use the Voice Memos app on your iPhone and convert it into a transcripted text in an online Word document. The first step is to create a recording using the Voice Memos app. Here I've created one where I've read the story of the runaway bunny for my granddaughter. And you can see that it gives you a date stamp. When you're ready to export it, you just click on the export button and it gives you all the different choices that you have. You can email it to yourself, you can save it to Slack, you can save it to Evernote, any of the apps that you have loaded, you can save it to. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Dropbox because I wanna get it from my iPhone over to my Dropbox app. I've created the connection already. And then all I need to do here is choose the folder that I want to save it to and it uploads it to Dropbox. Once I'm done, I can switch over to my desktop and take it away. Once you've created your recording and you've imported it into a place where you can use it on the web, open up a Word document online. This does not work with the downloaded version installed on your computer. You have to use the online version. You can get free copies of Office uh, and use Word for free. Once you're here, you'll have a brand new document. You'll see the microphone and then you've got two options there. You can dictate or you can transcribe. Since you have already imported that file, you can click on transcribe and then it opens up a window here with some options letting you upload audio or start recording. We're going to go ahead and upload the audio that I just created. So then it will upload it and then transcribe it. So it saves your transcription in this pane so you can close it if you want to and come back to it and then it will try and assign speakers. So it has speaker one, speaker one, speaker one all the way through. If you were doing this for a video that you were going to publish like on YouTube, this is a way that you can create captions. Uh, but if you're just using it for transcription, you've dictated a first draft into your notes app, for example, you can come back here and then you can prepare it to add to document. You don't want all of the timestamps and the speaker names. So when you go to add to document, you're not going to choose with timestamps or with speakers and timestamps or with speakers. You're just gonna use the text and then it imports all of the text in here. Now you won't see page breaks, you won't see pauses at punctuation and grammar, and then it gives you a link up here. So if you were going to uh, clean this up and put it into Scrivener, or if you write in Word, you've got a really good head start. And in my experience, it is fairly accurate. I hope this helped. And if you need other tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or join our mailing list at IndieAuthorTools.com. We publish a list every Friday and deliver it straight to your inbox.